Hi, I'm Annalise here with Chopper TV, and today we are going to interview Miss D, the founder and creator and designer of B-Seller Jewelry. Hi, Miss D. Hi, <laughs> How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? Now, let's ask you a few questions. Um, so I know that you started your business in Dallas. So why Dallas? Were you going to school there? Where, how did it work? I'm originally from Dallas, mm -hmm. and so um, my business partner is there as well. Um, and she, um, I guess I moved here about seven eight years ago, and um, out of, uh, my husband was transferred, so it wasn't actually by choice, mm -hmm. um, but, um, so we've always just kind of worked with each other in the other places. And did you go to school for making jewelry? I did not. I went to school for, um, I wanted to be an art teacher, so mm -hmm. um, painting, drawing. And what drew you into jewelry? <laughs> Um, I've always done jewelry for myself, um, and over the years I've had a few Etsy stores that mm. I've always made jewelry from. Um, however, I'm not so good at um, representing myself mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's kind of like an art form. So um, the great part about my business now is I have a great partner who does, first of all, she does all the business part, mm -hmm. so I'm also bad with numbers, so that works well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and. Um, so she handles that, and we have a showroom in Dallas um, that we do market four times a year, and she also handles all that. So she handles all the customers and mm -hmm. um, all the stores that come into the showroom. So, so you're the creative I'm the creative, parts. yeah, I'm uh -huh. the creative and the social media and the marketing and the photo shoots and mm -hmm. any of the creative part, I guess. Yeah. Where does your inspiration come from for making, your jewelry is very unique, it's very modern yet natural, it's kind of this mineral kind of um, way to it. It's, um, I've, since it, like I was a little girl, my grandparents kind of lived in the country and I would walk with my head down, like looking at rocks and collecting mm -hmm. fossils. And um, so I've always loved nature and, um, but also I love modern art. <laughs> so I think really, um, I think that's what I try to do. Take a piece of naturally formed stone and work metal around it to kind of create something edited so it's not too much going on mm -hmm. but simple but pretty at the same time. <laughs> Do you have any sort of crafting rituals, artistic ways that you go about starting your jewelry? Um, well I do, um, I will make one-offs of everything. That's kind of the way I start a collection mm -hmm. and make a bunch of things. I First I go and find, the first the first thing I find is the, the stone or the um, the material that I want to use and it's based on just my personal taste what I find maybe going on in fashion and um, and then I kind of play with it in so many different ways I'll make you know 50 pieces mm -hmm. and then I'll narrow it down to 15 or 20 mm -hmm. and so we're just kind of building a collection based on that so we've got two um, we've got two collections under our belt so far. So we've got about 80 pieces now total. Wow. Where, what's your favorite piece of jewelry? Whether it be something that you made or just something that you like to wear? Um, I'm trying to think. Right now, this, this piece uh, is from our newest collection and it's mm -hmm. called the Chloe, mm -hmm. um, which is, I guess, I named it. It's kind of a secret name after like the, this girl that I really love. So, um, that this is my probably my favorite right now. Mm -hmm. It's a freshwater pearl set inside of a brass arc. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. And where does your company taking off right now? I I know that it uh, got picked up by by. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna be um so in next week we'll be at Stanley Korshak um mm -hmm. in Dallas. Um, we are actually in seven states now. Oh. Yeah, we're in Kansas. We're in Michigan. We're in um. Texas, Oklahoma. I'm forgetting. I'm trying to remember. I can't remember who else. But um, Stanley Korshak, and then of course um, one that another one I'm really honored is the Nasher Museum um, in Dallas, mm -hmm. which um, this is the second time that they'll be carrying our stuff. They carried us back um, on our first market, and they did really. I guess it sold out. So. Um, we're going back in with them, and they're, they doubled their order, so we're excited wow. about that. <laughs> where do you see it taking off to? Where, where, what's your goal? Like, where do you want to get to? I would love to 
like I said, contribute back to our alma mater. Alma maters. Mm -hmm. um, we'd love to. I'd love to be in a place where I'm not making mm -hmm. 200 pieces of jewelry by myself. Right. Um, I love all the creative aspects. I'd love to be at a point where I'm kind of creating the samples and then have a hand in, you know, making a lot of stuff, but also have help. And um, so I think that that would be my main goal yeah. <laughs> is to have a little bit of help. And um, but I think ultimately, like I, I want to see this as like a brand, mm -hmm. um, and I'm kind of treating it like that with yeah. all the social media and all the our image and the way I see us right here. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you, Missy. Yes, absolutely. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm Elise here with Chopper TV. Thanks for watching.